Hey guys, what is up? Mike here. Thanks for tuning in to another video. In this video, I want to talk about all the tools and apps that I currently use for all my UI UX design work, being a product designer, as well as running my online small business. So if you're thinking about becoming a UX designer, you ever wondered, hey, what are some of the tools that Mike uses? I want to list them out for you. And for those of you that might be wanting to start a YouTube channel or create an online business, so um, courses and build membership sites and do email marketing and things like that, I want to talk about all the tools and services that I use for that part of the stuff that I do day to day. All right, so starting off, number one, on the product design side, the number one tool in my toolbox would be Sketch. Sketch is the number one tool that I currently have and that I use. It's my money maker. It's the tool that you'll constantly see open on my desktop. It's um, the tool that I use for all my design work. That's UI, UX, as well as print work. And yes, I use Sketch for all my print work. Currently today, I handle my wife's marketing material for her real estate business, and everything is done within Sketch. Business cards, postcards, flyers, booklets, anything print related, I design within Sketch, save it off as a PDF, email it to our printer, and we get those things printed. But Sketch is a UI UX design tool. It's the number one UI design tool on the market in my opinion. Why? Because it's the most fully featured. It's the one that's been out the longest and there are tons of UI design tools on the market. The next one, in my opinion, would be Figma. Behind that would be Adobe XD. And there's no right and wrong. Everyone likes um, their own version of what, the, you know, a lot of people love Figma, a lot of people love Sketch, a lot of people love Adobe XD. There's really no right and wrong. If you love the tool and it can do the things that you want it to do, use that particular tool. For me, I love Sketch because it's the most fully featured and someone like myself coming from a tool like Adobe um, Fireworks, I need a tool that is both highly capable on vector as well as having the most bitmap support. And the next tool that I use in conjunction with Sketch would be Envision. Envision is a an online app that specializes in creating prototypes or allowing you to create pro prototypes. And Envision also have other additional tools. They have Envision Studio, which is another UI design tool on the market. They have all these other things going on there, but I don't really use Envision for any of those other things other than prototype. And how I use Sketch plus Envision, within Sketch, you add a plugin called Craft. Craft is a plugin that comes directly from Envision. You install this plugin craft on Envision and it allows you to import your artboards directly into Envision. Uh, modify your designs, push a button, and your prototypes are updated within Envision. So those are the tool tools when it comes to all my product UI, UX design work, Sketch plus Envision. Next, I wanna talk about web development. Um, I don't do a lot of web development, but when it comes to building websites and building apps and things like that, when it comes to coding apps, I use Webflow. Um, I don't do a lot of design work right now when it comes to freelance design work, but Webflow is the best tool in the market, in my opinion, when it comes to building websites, building interfaces, when you just want to do it within HTML, CSS. So I've been using Webflow now for several years now. I believe I have the version, the hosted version, where you can host your applications or host your websites within uh, Webflow and it runs about 45, 42 bucks. I think a lot of people think that the price is a little high, but I mean, not to go deep into Webflow because it is it is uh, a very complex tool, but it allows you to build websites and build interfaces without using code, just using a GUI and adjusting properties and things like that. And then you can export your code or host the site on Webflow itself. So I use and recommend Webflow for building websites. When it comes to modifying and adjusting HTML, lately I've been using a, a free um, HTML editor called Komodo, and uh, I believe this is available for both uh, Mac and PC. So if you're adjusting and modifying um, HTML, I personally use Komodo. I've been using it now for the last year or so. Next, I wanna to move to some inspirational stuff. So when it comes to me as a designer, and I'm looking for inspiration, three sites that I constantly use that I've been using for years now, Dribble, Pinterest, and Google Images. Those are the three primary locations that I go to when it comes to looking for inspiration when it comes to design work. So as a designer, I always talk about going out 
and using other applications and other UI designs as your point of reference. So if I'm looking for a landing page, I'm typing in landing page in Dribbble, or if I'm looking for a login page, I'm typing in login page in Dribbble or Pinterest or Google images, and I'm using those images as inspirations to build off of, to build my own. So Dribbble, Pinterest, and Google images. Next, moving on to more of the online business, creating courses and things like that. The tool that I use to run my online business, MLUX Academy, is Kajabi. Kajabi is basically an all-in-one tool that allows you to build a website, uh, host your build products, host and build your membership, run email marketing campaigns, build landing pages, build funnels, all in one. I've been using Kajabi now for a little over two years, and for me, it's a lifesaver. Uh, for someone that only wants to focus on recording videos and creating content, when you don't wanna worry about building a website, building the code, um, uploading and compressing your videos and things like that, if you just wanna focus on creating videos and, and doing all your marketing, Kajabi is a tool that I highly recommend. It's a little pricey for those of you that are just starting. It runs, I think, starts off for about 150 bucks. Um, but if you're thinking about you know, creating courses and making a little over $1,000 a month, it will pay for itself and it's all tax deductible. Within Kajabi, you can build all your landing pages, membership sites, uh, products, and things like that, your courses, and it also allows you to manage your contacts and run email marketing campaigns through Kajabi. So if you're thinking about running an online business, I highly recommend checking out Kajabi. Next, I wanna talk about creating videos. So for now, what I have here, I'm recording, for all my YouTube videos, I record my videos using this Canon, what is it, G3 or G7X. Um, it's a Canon with a flip. It's a lot of bloggers call it one of the best blog, blogging cameras, but the downfall of this camera is it doesn't have an audio jack where you can have like a road mic. So a lot of my videos, you have like the room echoing and things like that. But I'll, I'll be honest with you. I've been recording videos now for 10 plus years and I'm not good technically with audio. I've tried different audio mics and things like that. And to be honest with you, I just don't have the time and the willpower and the care to have all my videos pretty and picture perfect. Um, I will say this though, right now I, I have my camera on a tripod and it's I'm in front of a window and you see natural lighting. I do know this, over the last 10 years, the best lighting that you can possibly have uh, when recording videos is natural lighting. I do know that much. And not every time I get to record in front of a window during the day, but when you do, the lighting in the video looks 10 times better because there's a little blurry depth of field and um, you know people just like that look. So for my video editor, I use a tool called ScreenFlow. ScreenFlow is a video editing tool that runs for about 129 bucks um, and I've been using it for years now. It's very easy to learn and it allows me to take my videos and kind of cut them, you know, uh, modify the audio a little bit, um, add a little, little little design to it whatnot you see that little mlux academy you can add those things to it you can add a little ending to it some audio clips and things like that and also i use ScreenFlow um, for editing my youtube videos as well as doing my screencast so anytime i'm recording my screen i use ScreenFlow to um, do those things also i think if you see in the back i have a little mic i think it's the uh the blue not the, I have a blue Yeti I just bought, but this one is the Snowball. The Snowball mic that I just plug into my computer and I talk through that when um, ScreenFlow is recording. And that's what I talk through when I'm doing my screencast videos. And that one sounds pretty good. It sounds really bassy, it's deep, good quality uh, microphone. And um, that's what I use to record my videos on. Um, Next, I wanna talk about when I'm writing my digital whiteboard, um, I love this app, it's called AWW App. Um, just go to awwapp.com and um, it's an app that I think the pay, I pay 10 bucks a month for this app, but you can use it for free. I think when you use it for free, there's a, there's a little small ad at the bottom of um, the application, but 
it's a tool that I use for doing all my digital um, writing. Um, so I record the screen and I use that app to do all my digital, you know, whiteboard stuff. And I use a little small Wacom tablet. The Wacom tablet I've had now for years, it ran about a hundred bucks, but I believe they're really cheap right now on Amazon. And it's just a plug and play Wacom tablet. So USB into your computer and you can just start writing. You can use it like a mouse basically. And so that's whenever you see me writing on a white digital whiteboard, I'm using uh, the Wacom tablet to do all the writing and stuff like that. Other stuff that I use for marketing, um, obviously Facebook ads, Google AdWords, um, Instagram ads, um, LinkedIn, and YouTube is the, the number one tool that I use for posting and things like that. And um, file sharing, Google Drive for Word doc stuff, uh, for Word documents, obviously Google Docs and Google Sheets. That pretty much sums up everything, all the tools and apps that I use for all my um, design work, as well as for all my stuff that I do running my online small business. Anyway, guys, if you have any questions, leave me a comment below, or as always, visit my site, MLUX Academy. Use the contact link there. Ask me any questions you want. I'll be happy to answer those for you guys. Thanks for watching the video. I know I went on a little longer than I wanted to, but hopefully it was informative. I'll talk to you guys in the next video.